In 2025, semi-solid state batteries will be coming to cars, to electric cars, that you'll be able to buy outside of China, as in, in the West. Solid state batteries will come very soon after that, based on what we're seeing from Chinese battery manufacturers and also from American battery manufacturers as well. Not to mention the other batteries like CATL's condensed battery with its insanely high energy density, then crystal batteries as well. There's some incredible changes. Now, what does this mean? How will this affect everyone? Well, first of all, let's have a look at one of the cars that you'll be able to buy, which will have a semi-solid state battery within only a few months time. MG says it will launch a new electric car this year with a semi-solid state battery. MG vehicles are obviously sold in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Thailand, many countries around the world. So this is pretty big news. This is getting really interesting now. This would be a big increase in energy density. I mean, if you put this battery pack into MG's most popular EV, the MG4, you might be able to increase range by around 30 to 40%. That would be massive. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Thanks for tuning in. Now, guys, a caveat here. I own an Xpeng G6, and the G6 gets pretty good range, right? I'm, I'm pretty happy with the range. With this new set of wheels I'll put on, I can get around just over 600 kilometers of range. But I wouldn't be saying no to a semi-solid state battery, especially considering how good solid state batteries can actually be. On December the 14th, MG's brand division, the General Motors of that division, he said on Weibo that the first new MG to launch in 2025 would have a semi-solid state battery and it wouldn't be expensive. I mean, if someone said to you, you know what, we can increase the range of your EV by 30%, percent not going to cost you really anything. It's going to be affordable. I'm pretty sure that would be insane, right? Is this going to really happen? Well, here's the thing. No one knows which battery this is. I don't know which battery they're saying they're going to put in the, in the new MG. I don't even know which vehicle it is. But the whole concept of it being affordable, I mean, to me, that's, that's intriguing. The announcement seems to be a significant backtrack on previous information from MG, says Car News China. Previously, the executive general manager of SAIC Passenger Vehicles revealed in a media interview that SAIC's self-developed all-solid-state battery would be first installed on an MG car. Back in September when the comments were made, it was believed the vehicle would be launched in the second quarter of 2026. So MG appeared to be saying semi-solid-state battery is coming this year, 2025, Next year, 2026, there will be a full solid state battery. Now, when Toyota make these claims there'll be a solid state battery in their cars, and they've been saying this since 2014, you kind of don't believe it. But when one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world, one of the biggest EV brands in the world says it, well, it's got a little bit more of a legitimate ring to it. Car News China says there's two possibilities. They believe that this so-called solid state battery coming in 2026 may in fact be a semi-solid state battery and that MG's uh, GM sort of didn't quite write the right thing. He should have, showed, should have said semi-solid state, not completely solid state. The semi-solid state batteries don't have as much energy. They're not as high in terms of energy density possibilities as full solid state batteries. You're looking at energy density of potentially up to 300 watt hours per kilogram for a semi-solid state battery but full solid state batteries potentially could go over 1,000. There are some with claims of around 600 to 800 watt hours per kilogram when it comes to full solid state batteries. Previously, SAIC said that they would put a semi solid state battery in their IML6. So the IM brand, which is owned by SAIC Motors, it's like a sister brand to MG. They are bringing semi solid state batteries to the IML6. The IM brand is gonna be a global car brand. I don't know how many countries, but I know lots of countries outside of China are expecting to have that brand within the next one to two years. So which MG vehicle is likely to get the semi-solid state battery? Well, it's a vehicle that you can already buy in a lot of different countries. And I, I saw it at the EV show in Sydney recently. So the Cyberstar, apparently the Cyberstar convertible or ragtop, whatever you want to call it, 
the GDS version, Car News China believes that that's the most likely vehicle to get this battery pack. And that, that would make total sense, right? Put it in a sports car. These cost about 65,000 US dollars, 70,000 US dollars for the starting, the, the starting base model. You know, about 110,000 Australian dollars, I believe they cost in Australia. But where does weight matter the most, right? It matters the most with a sports car. So it would make sense that in a premium vehicle like this, you would put your best battery packs, right? The L6 battery is actually the current battery in the IM L6. It's 123.7 kilowatt hours and has an energy density of more than 300 watt hours per kilogram, giving it a range of 1,002 kilometers. So it sounds like that's the battery pack that would go into this new, well, the new version of the MG Cyberstar. It'd get a battery with 300 watt hours of kilogram, 300 watt hours per kilogram in energy density, which is pretty impressive. I mean, that's a little bit more energy dense than Tesla's 4680 battery cells. And it would prob probably give the Cybester, MG Cybester, a range in the real world of something like 700 kilometers. That's massive. What does all this mean? And why is this even relevant? Why am I even doing a video about this? Well, here's the reason why, because It'll only be a few years time before this battery technology is in standard cars, MGs, Teslas, BYDs, Zika, Xpeng. Most of these brands will have semi-solid state batteries within the next couple of years and probably solid state batteries in addition to that. Now there's all other kinds of batteries that are not solid state or semi-solid state that also have incredible numbers in terms of energy density. But everything is moving towards one thing and that is electric cars with huge range. We're now starting to see insane charging speeds. BYD's new batteries, they claim we can charge their, can charge in seven and a half minutes. Uh, Zika are saying that they've now hit 900 kilowatt charging speeds. So we're looking at incredible charging speeds between seven to 10 minutes, plus immense improvements in energy density, providing up to a thousand kilometers of range. This is all happening within the next couple of years. The convergence of these te two technologies, incredible charging speeds, and very, very high energy density batteries will lead to a couple of things. Well, a lot more people wanting them for starters, but also they'll lead to the ability to make battery packs smaller. Electric cars will, within a few years time, be actually lighter than gasoline powered vehicles and petrol powered vehicles. And they'll be much, much cheaper to manufacture by 2030. It's unanimous that experts believe that EVs will be cheaper to manufacture by 2026. Thanks for watching.